The International Space Station and other space shuttles come equipped with hand railings along their exterior. These railings serve the purpose of stabilizing the astronauts as they perform spacewalks, otherwise known as extravehicular activities. A problem occurs when orbital debris collide with the railings and cause small but dangerous craters. The lips of these craters can be sharp and can damage part of the astronaut's spacesuit, specifically the gloves. A current solution is the toughening of the gloves themselves. This, however, focuses on the consequences instead of the actual problem, which are the craters. Astronauts are limited visually and in their movement. Identifying these craters, which can be as small as a hundredth of an inch, is nearly impossible without the help of a detection tool. Bear in mind, the railings have three faces in which a crater can be found and pose a hazard for the astronauts. When designing the sharp edge detection tool, it became obvious that an integral part of the project was going to consist of a camera. The camera that was chosen was 4D systems UCAM 3. It is small yet powerful enough to provide a clear image for our use. The constant stream coming from the camera, along with all the components of the user interface, needed a microcontroller that could handle this extensive load. TI's microcontroller chip, the one seen on screen, was chosen to helm the project. This microcontroller provided a vast amount of UR ports, as well as programmable pins, which we needed a lot of. Our unique PCB layout placed all the components in an area of 2 by 2.5 inches. With everything packed tightly, it was possible to fit the project in the case being shown. You may take a moment to appreciate the precise cuts that were made into the case. These modifications allowed the microcontroller to be housed within while the camera and user interfaces like the button and LCD screen were visible from the outside. We decided to use an image processor to be able to run the detection algorithm that the TI chip could not handle. Due to cost, we use NVIDIA's Jetson TK1 development board. This image processor runs the detection algorithm continuously through every image it received. As we now demonstrate the project, let me explain what you will be seeing. The camera is being shown a smooth surface with an imperfection that will stand in for the sharp edge. Since the camera is constantly sending the pictures to the microcontroller, the TI chip will just forward the pictures to the image processor. Here the processor runs the detection algorithm that detects any sharp edges. Once one is detected, the signals are relayed back to the microcontroller. On screen you will see the actual picture and detection from the algorithm. The user will not see this and instead see an LCD screen that is color coded. We tried to make the user interface as clean and easy to use as possible, considering the user will have to operate the device using large gloves. Once the microcontroller has those signals, it can either alert the user that an edge was found, or continue saying that it is safe to proceed. These are the current capabilities of the sharp edge detection tool. Future implementations and additions can be added to mark or completely remove the sharp edges it finds.